Welcome to another episode of Will It Tie-Dye. Today we're going to figure out if we can tie-dye milk. I saw it on Pinterest. Let's see if it works. So disclaimer, only use these items if you have guardian permission. So things you're going to need. You're going to need a plate. You're going to need some milk. And some food coloring. I only had gel food coloring. Let's see if it works. And the last thing is going to be some dish soap. So for this first try, I kind of put a lot of milk in, a little, a good amount um, of milk on this plate. And when I saw it, it looked like they put the food coloring right in the middle of the plate. So I started to put my four colors in the middle of the plate there. Um, it was kind of going in under the milk which wasn't what happened on Pinterest, but let's try it out and see. So now you grab your dish soap and you just put it right on top. Oh my gosh, look at that. Worked. Let's see it slow motion now. That looks so cool. Okay, so I was not very happy with all the white, so I tried to put more food coloring in there to see if we could get it even more bright. Let's see all the colors. So I just went ahead and just kind of put it all over and then put the soap all over as well to see what would happen. It's not really doing much <laughs> after the dish soap, so I went ahead and just put my finger in and kind of swirled it around to see if we can get a cool design from it. And disclaimer, um, my finger did get a little stained, so if you don't want your finger stained, don't put it in there. And yeah, look at that. That looks really, really cool. So that looked really, really awesome, and I loved the colors with it, but I want to try again with a little less milk this time. So for try number two, I put a little bit less milk on the plate to see if the colors would stay on top a little bit more. And I just started doing the same exact thing. I just put all of the coloring in the middle of the plate, all of my colors in there to see what would happen. I went again in with the soap right in the middle. Whoa, so cool. Let's see it slow motion. That looked really, really cool. Again, I wanted to swirl it around a little bit more, so I put my finger right in there and kind of swirl around to make some designs to see what it would look like. Try popping some bubbles. This one seemed like it was very blue, kind of aqua, but the swirls were still really, really cool. Um, so I just kind of kept wanting to see. I just kept putting more in to see what would happen on there too and see if other colors would come through as well. So I put more soap in it as well, which looked really, really marbly. added more milk just to kind of get more white in there to see if more colors would come through. Um, I like this one. It turned out pretty great. I want to do one more try. So for this one, um, I, I put in the same amount of milk that I did for the second try, so a little bit less milk and started adding those colors and I wanted to go for a little bit of a lighter one so kind of went with more of the orange. And it did a little bit. It was kind of cool. But I wanted to use a straw to see what would happen. So I got a straw and I just kind of blew it around to see if I could make some cool designs on it. Um, and you can get a little bit, you can get more of that. My gel food coloring was at the bottom still. So kind of using that straw worked pretty well to kind of do that. So I put a little bit more color in there and just kept using that straw to make it a cool, cool design. Again, got my finger in there just to kind of swirl it around. This was a cool experiment. I enjoyed kind of making it um, and putting it together. So if you want to try some tie-dyeing milk at home, um, here's what you got to do. I really enjoyed it. Hopefully you enjoy it too. Thanks for watching.